So today's look is going to be on this super fun, almost red, glittery looking eyeshadow. And I paired it with this cool toned lip. So I finally got my hands on the Modern Renaissance palette and I've seen a lot of tutorials and looks out there um, and I wanted just to create something a little bit different with it, something a little bit more fun. So I hope you guys like this. Please keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on all of my other social medias. I have Instagram and Snapchat and they're at Danielle Elise. So, Thanks, and I'll see you next time, guys. So let's jump right into this makeup tutorial. So I already have my foundation, my brows, and I just primed my eyelids. So we're gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. I just picked this up yesterday at Sephora. This is the new Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. And it is so beautiful. Look, it matches my nails. These are all of the colors. And when I saw these colors, whoops, um, I just, knew I had to have it. it. I have nothing like these. And today I've been really inspired by these raspberry red type of colors all right here. So that's kind of the look I'm gonna go for today. I'm going to pick up a 217 brush by MAC and I'm gonna go into the color Juan Fresco. I'm just gonna put that right into my crease as my blending transition shade. This is not my first time using ABH eyeshadows. I'm sure a lot of you know that their eyeshadows are very pigmented and they're very easy to blend out. I'm just doing little windshield wiper motions and I always just build the color until like I feel it's the amount of pigment that I want on my eyes. Now I'm gonna pick up this color right here. This is probably my favorite color in the whole shadow palette. It's so pretty. This is called Love Letter. And I'm gonna pick up a clean 217 brush. Can never have too many 217 brushes on hand when you're doing makeup. And I'm not gonna go above or below, I'm just gonna kinda put this right on top of that first color that I did. So when you're blending out colors like this, it's very important to keep your brush angled up instead of your blending like this. So I don't wanna be blending this way. I have my hand up and I wanna blend just slightly, like you can do little, I do little circular motions at the outer corner of my eye and then you can just little windshield like emotions. That's gonna give you more of a blended look rather than blending your eyeshadow with your holding your brush down with your hand down like this. So same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna speed this up. So with the first a brush that I use to do the transition color, I'm going to pick up this color right here from the palette. It's called Cypress Umber. Really pretty matte brown. So I'm just going to work this into the outer corner, just for a little bit of definition.
So now for the color on my lid. I want it to be bright and I want it to pop. So one of my favorite all-time things, like when I do my eyeshadow to do, is I love using lipsticks as an eyeshadow base. I like that it is a creamy texture and it's colored, pigmented, and you, when you put eyeshadow on top, it just holds it and it makes it look really nice and vibrant. So I'm gonna take this color, this is by MAC. This is a matte, kind of orangey red, and this is called Barbecue. So I am going to spread this on my lid. You see that? Very pretty. Now I'm gonna get this flat um, eyeshadow brush. This is a 247 by MAC, and I'm gonna blend that out. Now I'm going to take this color right here from the palette and this is called Venetian Red. Same brush that I used to blend out the lipstick color. And I'm going to place that right on top. So if I was just to put that eyeshadow color on my lid without using the base, it really was not going to show up as pigmented as it's looking right now. Now I'm going back in with the 217 that I used Love Letter on. And I'm gonna buff I'm even going into the inner corner of my eye because I just want this to be a super blown out, smoky, colorful eye. I'm going to take a 224 brush by MAC. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm just gonna take that on a brush, just very little. And I'm just gonna go right at the top and just kind of use that to even diffuse the colors out even more. And you just wanna tap your brush into the color very lightly. You don't want too much on your brush. I even kind of am tapping it off. So once you got this all blended out, next for the fun part, I'm gonna take probably my most favorite eyeshadow in the whole entire world. This is a Dazzle Shadow by MAC. MAC launched these in a collection a couple months ago called La Disco. And these shadows sold out super, super fast, but they actually just brought these back and made them permanent. So you can actually go to your local MAC store and pick these up. Like I said, this color is called Let's Roll. So my favorite way to apply these eyeshadows is with my finger. So I'm just gonna get my finger, and rub it in a little, and then I'm just gonna place it right on top. How pretty this shadow is. And the lighting, it kind of changes color. and you're done with your disco eyeball. So now I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just wipe off all of the fallout because when you use like a glittery eyeshadow like this, you're gonna have a little bit of fallout.
I'm gonna try a new product that I've never tried before, but I've heard great reviews and tons of my friends and coworkers were telling me that I needed to try this. So I'm going to try out the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Vanilla because I am light AF. So I'm used to wearing the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. That has been my only concealer that I've used for the past like three years. So I decided I need to step outside of my box and try something different. So my damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, so it blended out super easy and it feels super nice and light on the skin, which I really like, but it gives me a really nice coverage. Now I'm gonna set my highlight. This is another product that I've never tried before and I just got yesterday. This is the new Kat Von D Locket Translucent Powder. And the girl that I helped me yesterday she said that she likes this powder better than the Laura Mercier. So we'll see. I like to get and set right where my smile lines are because that is the first place my makeup will start to move right around the mouth area because if you think about it we're smiling we're talking throughout the day so that's the first place your makeup is going to start to break up so i'm going to let that sit for a little bit and bake and i'm going to finish up the bottom of my eyes so for eyeliner in my bottom lash line i'm going to use a lip pencil called night moth I love using lip pencils in my waterline, especially if I want like a pop of color. This is a 219 by MAC, and I'm gonna go back in with this shade right here called Love Letter. And I'm gonna buff that on the bottom. These shadows are so pigmented. We love them. I want a little pop on my inner corner as always. So I'm going to use a different dazzle shadow. This one is called I Like to Watch. And this is a really pretty gold. A clean eyeshadow brush. Dip that in. You see how pigmented these eyeshadows are? So pretty. You don't even need to wet them. Like use Fix Plus, they're just that glittery on their own.
Now with a 132 brush, I'm gonna dust off the powder that we have baking. I always set the rest of my face with my mineral powder. Of course, it's my favorite powder ever. Um, mineral powder by MAC and I use the color medium. So now I need some definition in this face. So I'm gonna pick up my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I like to mix these two shapes. This one and this one. Once you put foundation and you put your concealer, what you're kind of doing is taking away any dimension that your face naturally has. So, when you contour, when you put like a contour color on your skin, what it's doing is creating those shadows so your face looks just not all one color and one tone. Now that I pretty much have all the powder that I want on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself with Fix Plus. Um, I am on my last bottle of my Coconut Fix Plus. Makes me super sad. They need to bring back the scented Fix Pluses. So I'm gonna spray myself with Fix Plus and then I'm gonna put on my highlight. I'm gonna get my favorite brush ever to put highlight on with. This is a 133 by MAC. They have now made this brush permit. And I'm going to pick up my ABH Glow Kit today. So I'm gonna be using the color Sunburst and Bubble, Bubbly. So these highlighting powders, if you've never tried their glow kits, they are amazing. Like if you want a pop and highlight, this is what's going to be. So a little down the center of my nose, a little right there, and a little on my chin. Yeah. Okay, and I like to do blush. I've been lately going doing my highlight first, then my blush after, because I feel like when you do your blush after, it kind of blends in so you don't have like a harsh line of just your highlight right there. I'm gonna be using Desert Rose by MAC. Big too. So I'm gonna put that right on the apple of my cheek and blend it back. You always want it to tie in with your contour. For lashes today, I'm gonna be using In The Style Goddess, is what they look like, they're super pretty. I'm gonna pop those on, and then I'm gonna go fix my hair really quick, and I'll be right back. Let's put our lip on. I'm gonna be using Soar Lip Pencil by MAC Cosmetics. And my all-time favorite, probably my most favorite, most used liquid lipstick, and this is by Dose of Colors, and this is the color Stone. And I think I'm gonna be mixing it with a little bit of Kat Von D's Requiem.
you stop right there and just use the stone. But I'm gonna put a little bit of Kat Von D's Requiem liquid lipstick. Just right in the center.